SMTV for life. What I would say is the funds, you know. <laughs> the funds, you know, keep, you know, supporting me. The funds keep, you know, pushing the works, you know, the funds keep. Respect. This is a reggae dancer show. Definitely. Know? Anytime, you know, I hear you play, I you know, talent and the career, you know, because, um, you know, she trying to promote me has really made me, you know, gotten that recognition, you know, because um, if I have, like, you know, people like that coming for me now from Jamaica, then it means my works are really talking over there. So this thing came up and, you know, the team sat, sat down and we decided that, you know, that's, that's how come, you know, this thing is big. Wow. Mm. Wow. Mm. Wow. So you, 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 you were chosen as the headliner. Yeah, man. Ed. How, 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 how does that feel like? We have the likes of Sizzler, mm. Caperton, mm. Beanie Man, mm. Elephant Man, mm. Tommy Lee Sparta, mm. Warrior King, mm. Win Wonder, mm. Capridge, mm. Singing Melody, mm. Peter of Morgan Heritage, mm. Vibes Cartel, yeah, man. and among others. <laughs> and all this, you were chosen as the headliner. Mm. Shatawale from Ghana. Mm. Yo, I, I, I don't understand this. <laughs> you have to understand this. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. It's like, it's like, you know, I be, yeah. I be a bit with a father, you know. Yeah. You know, from you see Sizzler and you see Kipit and you, yeah. know, you know, say like, you know, man, I work hard, you know. And Definitely. I feel so honored to be on the platform or a label like that with them because, you know, me with Sizzler and everybody behind me shows how hard I've worked, you know, show how, like, their support is. And, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those things, like, I feel like, um, People shouldn't be surprised because these are people that I like, pray spiritually for. You know, mm -hmm. These are people that I like, watch, you know, on YouTube. These are people that I, like, you know, wish one day I'm gonna be on a, on a label with them. And me being on a label with them is is one of those things. Like this is one of the greatest things that I've ever like come into my life. And we have to just give thanks. You know, it's just it's just so sad that you know, um, from this side of the industry, people are not paying attention to the dancer and reggae market. You know, but. Um, I, I feel honored to, to be with him, people like them because they are like spiritual fathers to me. All right. Mm. So, uh, who do we have on the line? Hello, Papa. <laughs> Hello, Mommy. How are you? I'm good. You are good. You're looking great, too. Yo, Kim, what up, <laughs> Mommy, you never know I say you're going to call me, you know. Mm. <laughs> I can't be going to church, but I'm here. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm extremely proud of you. You know, I tell you this every day. 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 Every I don't need to do that because, you know, we've been putting in our work mm. and mm. we've been taking our time and, you know, cruising. Mm. And you now we're cruising all over the world. Exactly. Right? The first thing you told me on the first day, you know? <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. So, so, ladies and gentlemen, we have Kim. Shata Wallace Management in Jamaica on the line. You understand me? She yes, yes, CEO, yes. CEO. The CEO. Of Kim Media House. Yeah, man. Yeah. You understand me? <laughs> and, and, and me and Kim, we good like cook food. You understand? Don't go wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So, 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 so Kim, um, um, I, I would like to ask you this. Um, working, working with Shata, you, 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 you know Shata already. People say a whole lot of things about him. He's a harsh person. He doesn't respect this, that, that, that. You working with Shatter? How, how, how is he like? If you can, you know, put us in camera for us. Craft and they take offense to certain things, and he 
So, so, all you're saying is Shatter is down to earth to work with, don't it? Definitely. Alright, so um you 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 being in Jamaica, um mm -hmm. and, and, and we're talking about this new project, you know, um Tropical Houses Cruises to Jamaica, you understand me? The 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 this reggae edition. What is the way forward for it? You know, now you're stopping all the chat and all that kind of thing. What is the way forward for it? Okay. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> oh god oh god oh god so um kim before before we leave you online um what 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 do you have to tell you your artist in the studio right now Soon after Corona, man, coming, coming to Jamaica, you know, shit. Uh, right. I, 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 have your, I, I have your boyfriend in the house too, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kim. <laughs> love you, love you, love you, love you. Love you, mommy, love you. All right, Kim. Thanks so much for your time and space. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So that was Shata Wallace Management all the way from Jamaica talking to us. You understand me? And um, I just wanted to find out, you know, like how some Ghanaians see Shatawale being that kind of hostile person and rare, rare, you know, that kind of thing. From the Jamaican perspective, you heard what the woman said. 
You understand me? And we're talking about this over Yasu now. So, Shata. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, <clears throat> what do you make of what Kim said? You know, as as compared to what some Ghanaians, you know, think about you, and from the Jamaican perspective, what the Kim, what Kim is saying. Well, you know, I mean, most most things I tell people is, you know, life life is simple, but we make it complicated. You know, mm -hmm. like from what Kim is saying, people mm -hmm. should really, you know, take a look at, you know, an artist side of me and not, you know, a personal yeah. side of me, because. When you take me personal, you're gonna have problems with me. But when you take me as an artist who is in, in the arts business, you're gonna really understand who I am very well. Um, you know, Kim has had you know a, a little like up and downs with me. Like talk about me struggling with you know the kind of song I need to do, the kind of lyrics I need to put out. But you know, she she understands me so well that she sees me as an artist and she works with me as an artist. Like. The way my team here sees me, you know, like Chris, I have problems with Chris every time, I have problems with Bulldog every time, and all pertains or goes around, you know, the career, you know, so most people, you know, really talking about me in a way, and they feeling like, you know, they know me better than I should be, I, I just, I just want to tell them, you know, to just watch the artist side of me, otherwise, you know, they're always going to have, like, problems with me and my personal life, because I have a personal life and I have a professional life, and those are the two things that you know. All right, so people have to look at your music life mm -hmm. and, and, you know, subtract that from your personal life. life. You know? Yeah, because I'm a comedian by nature. And sometimes, you know, like <laughs> Definitely. Comedy, you know? <laughs> you know? We've been saying it almost all the time. You're more <laughs> than DKB. <laughs> no, DKB are not my competition. Yo, yeah. yeah, see. Yeah, we're for Mr. Bean. <laughs> <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, we're having one-on-one mm -hmm. one with Shatawale in mm -hmm. the building. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about Gift of God album. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I want you to put us in camera, mm. you know, what the album is about. Mm. You know, I heard you saying that you were having a chit chat with Mr. Easy and that mm. name came mm. up and all that kind of thing. Exactly. You know, I want you to dig deep into the Gift of God album for us. So, this all goes around the career. <laughs> you know, I would just say, I've watched my journey from Randana days to now. <laughs> and uh, I'm just seeing what is going around me and I see it to be a gift. You know? I don't <laughs> see it to be just a talent. You know? yeah. So basically I was talking to Mr. Easy in London and you know, we're discussing certain issues and you know that topic came up and I was like, yo, uh, you know, that's a great mind he's given me and I'm gonna give him, you know, um, like a mention on my album just <laughs> to make him know that I'm proud of, you know, me having a friend like him. So, um, there's an album where, or that I want to promote into the world market, you know. Okay. People really complain, Shatawali doesn't do featuring, Shatawali always has his album, you know, with only him, with just one feature or something. So, mm -hmm. I've decided to really put out this album so people would know who I really am. Because uh, people don't know me too much as a dancer artist, just because of the system I am in. You know, people know the Kumpa and, uh, <laughs> and we spoiled uh, and yeah. you know, and, yeah, but you know, that is my business side. You know, mm -hmm. when I want to do business music and make money out of it, but this is another big business for me that Ghanaians should really understand so they can all support, you know. So the Gift of Album is going to have features, you know. <laughs> yeah, I have a collaboration with, you know, Vibes Cartel okay. himself, you know. And the guys that came himself, I wow. have some collaborations too with a few Jamaican artists that have not done, I are not done with their works yet. You know, mm -hmm. I've spoken to um, Ramps Morgan. You know, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm oh, finally! Yeah, finally! Oh, finally! <laughs> finally, finally. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow! Wow! Yeah, wow! You know, wow! So, and, a, and a couple of artists, you know, I'm trying to link up in Africa as well. Okay. Know? So um, it's going to be a great album. I'm going to have all, most featuring featurings on it, and people should just expect something good. But international album you know and all right just, you know doing this just for the african masses but to the world okay mm. so um the other day you were on the phone and you told me it's going to be a reggae album mm. i don't know whether you still stand by that no I, i'm going to have some reggae songs on it and, okay you know, a couple of you know um international things on it you know because because from from my rain album to the mm. wonder boy album mm. i was just testing the waters of um, um how do you call it the afro beats market mm -hmm. and I, I, at least i think i've gotten that you know market too as well okay so this is an album where i want to show people that i am an international artist you know? okay and that, that has always been my dream you know okay i i i, I was just doing like local songs to my community because I felt, you know, you know, that adage that goes like dance again before you dance abroad, you know, that's that's what 
I go by, you know. So I wanted my community to really love me and feel me for my career and talent before I move out to the world. And I think this is the best time for me to, you know, go out there because me talking to a whole lot of celebrities out there, talk about McMill, Nicki Minaj, you know, <laughs> Vice Cartel, all them people, um, um, how do you call it, Cardi B and them people. Like, I have, like, things I'm talking to, like, people I'm linking to get me those, you know, stuff. So it's basically one of, you know, those things that, you know, It's going to be an international album. Great album. Like, so now, you know, world album. You spoke about Vibes Cartel. Mm. You spoke about Graham Smogan. Exactly. So, so in Ghana, mm. who, who, who should we look at? In Ghana? Yeah. Probably I might feature, you know, a couple, you know? Surprise that, you know? People, <laughs> people, people, that people might not think are my feature. Those are the people I'll feature. I don't know if you can give us a small clue. A small clue? Yeah. Of <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. No, but you know, I'm, I'm trying to work something out with Samini. Samini? Yeah, I'm trying to work something out too with Stoneboy. Wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm also going to maybe put Sakuli on the album as well. Wow. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's a collaboration album. So wow. This one, and it's not about the collaboration alone, but the celebration of how we can project Ghana music to the world. Definitely. You know, because um, it's been long, you know, the talk, the talk is too much, you know. Shout out to Billboard, you know. Now I'm Billboard number one. People are not talking about it, but let me just talk about it because you know. Definitely. When the white man says the plane can fly, the plane can fly. Sure. Definitely. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> and I know the black man might lie. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but when the white man says the plane can fly, he the will fly. He will fly. <laughs> yeah, the black man might lie. You sure? Yeah, I like the ride. I like the ride. I like the ride. Oh God! Yeah. All right, so so so, all of us know you are a Billboard artist, without a doubt. You understand? How me? many people know? Shut up, yo! Almost everybody know. The street knows, but the media doesn't know. That's the problem. You know, the media is not happy about it. You know, you know, because the media has favorites. You know, but you know, it's just something I just want to chip in. You, you see, when it comes to reggae dancer, mm. you are a favorite, without a doubt. That one I understand. You understand me? Yeah, yeah, you get dance or DJ or selectors. So definitely, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man. We give thanks and praise. So, mm. ladies and gentlemen, we're having chit chat with Shatawali in the building. Mm. And on the Gift of God album, he said he's talking to Samini, Stone Boy, and Sarkodie. Sarkodie. Mm. Sarkodie. <laughs> so, you should understand. Well, no, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> But just I mention it, you understand no, no, no. me, for people to know that, but, yo. But from all you pronounce it, you know, sound like, you know, a puppy shit. <laughs> no, no, sir. No, no puppy shit in my answer. Please. <laughs> no, but Sakura, Sakura is my artist. Sakura is my colleague, like, he's, he's been my brother in the industry. So, there's no problem at all if I want to put Sakura in it, man. The way he's Shantawale. Shantawale. <laughs> so, now in Ghana, you, you, you've you mentioned top three. Mm. What about in Africa? Well, in Africa, I'm, I'm looking at a couple of features, you know, mm -hmm. like, you know, I have this new artist in Nigeria mm -hmm. who is doing well, you know, I think um, I, I would maybe would love to put a boy like, you know, um, um, you know, Bella Smuda, mm -hmm. he's in Nigeria. Okay. Yeah, one of the upcoming, like, goons in Nigeria, you know, and maybe put a boy like Joe Boy on it. Okay. Yeah, trying to talk to Whiskey and see if I can get him on the album as well. Okay. Yeah, you know, because I've done collaborations with Bernard Boy, yeah. Davido, you know, and you know, a couple of them will let me do. Yeah. I'm trying to talk to Tiwa Savi too. We, 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 we have a song that we're supposed to release, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at that if we can even put it on the album. Okay. Yeah, you know, so basically we're working, yeah. We're seeing what God will do. You know. So when exactly is this album going to be ready? Well, you know, wanted to make it ready in October, you know, because you know every October um, I, I, I launch my album. Yeah. I, 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 I've just decided to just wait for this COVID-19 to, you know, calm down a bit because, you know, the system is still scary, you know. Definitely. So, you know, I'm just trying to protect the fans from, you know, them getting, you know, setting, you know, viruses here and there. So basically, you know, maybe if it's not October, then we might do it in December when, when everything is calm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So, how many songs should we expect? The songs we've not yet um, decided. You know, um, that's what me and my team have decided. You know, recently, we had a meeting on that. Me and Budo and Chris. You know? Okay. Yeah, so that's what we, we're trying to decide. If, you know, we could put maybe 18 songs or maybe 15 songs. It depends. Okay. Mm -hmm. And 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 this time around, reggae and dancehall is going to dominate, right? 
Well, it's going to dominate because that's that's where I stand. That's what the world wants for me. You know, that's Definitely. that's why you know I I mostly link up to all these Jamaican artists. You know, so basically we're going to try and do something. You know, that would really show who I am. You know, in terms of me being a dancehall artist. All right. Yeah. You see, um, I want you to open your eye and talk mm. to me, Shanta. Mm. I'm going to close my eye. All right. <laughs> so 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 <laughs> so I want to know mm. this particular album. Mm. How many artists are you going to feature? Since people are saying that, oh, Shata Wale, dear, he doesn't like featuring mm. this, that, that, that. Mm. How many artists are you going to feature? Well, we've not decided on the number of artists, you know. Okay. But, uh, we just feel we are going to do collaborations that, you know, the fans want. And it's because of the fans that that's why I'm doing all this. Like, I'm not just doing this for, you know, doing sake, but um, I'm doing this because of the fans. So it depends when we have, you know maybe a number of artists that we feel are okay for the album because I'm going to have single tracks on there too with me alone, you know, like, you know, I like to do that most times. So, yeah, it's, it's just going to be too much, but it's going to be something, you know, good for the market. All right, so let's put the the album issues aside. Okay. And let me ask you this. Okay. Um, in Ghana, mm. which of the artists mm. would you like, mm. you know, aside this particular album, would you like to collaborate with that you've not yet you know, reach out to the artist yet. But that thing is on your heart that you want to collab with a particular with this particular artist. Which artist, you know, will be that or, or, or is that? Daddy Lumba. Daddy Lumba. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he's one of my greatest like icons when it comes to music. You know, I like how much he did it too, so I like the joint you know, But um, I have a certain relationship with Daddy Lumba, you know. I, I just think you know, I'm gonna have that right time, you know, to really, you know, work with him, you know, on an album or a single. Because anytime I see my talent, he's one great musician that, you know, maybe I would like to do a single with. Wow, mm -hmm. with Daddy Lumba. Yeah, yeah. DL. DL. Wow. Let's go meet you. I like that. Okay, yeah. so, um, would you like to do a collab with Black Rasta? Black Rasta. Mm -hmm. Why Black Rasta? Um, because I, I, I heard him saying on TV3 that he's released a, a song called Malam Tonga. He sent it to Bulldog and Bulldog really liked it. Mm. And the second version, he, he wants to put you on it. But Black Rasta never liked me, you know? Oh. Black Rasta never thought <laughs> good things about me on the radio, you know? Black Rasta always abashed me here and there, you know? And from, from Black Rasta, I tried to do that then, you know? You know, so we can't work with a man like that, but, you know? Me is a man with a focus, you know? Me is a man with a look at. You know, people with inspiration, not people where they try and bring me down and suppress me and things. You know, so black Rasta. I'm just speaking patois because I want Black Rasta to understand what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't say anything. I want make Black Rasta understand the, you know, you know, certain things where, you know, they try to do on radio. Yeah. Where maybe try to make my image look some way. They yeah. are part of it. Black Rasta is part of it. <laughs> I get what I'm saying. They make people see me like I be some way. I get what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. But I want him to know that. You know, sometimes, you know, we should know that, you know, in life, you know, the world is always a cycle. You know, you go and come around again, you know. So, I mean, I told Buddha personally that if I have to do a song with him, he needs to apologize to me for all the things he said on radio about me. Because he's giving a setting, he's part of those people who has given me that image. You know, so he should try and just, you know, apologize to me, like the way he apologized in Parliament. He should try and do that for me. When he when he does that for me, I'll be very happy. You know, we are all mature people. Yeah, know? Um, and you know, people change. You, you know that Black Rasta is now a prophet of God. Well, I never know. From a Rasta man to a prophet. Yeah, man. Oh wow, yeah, Rasta. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I like to, I like people to know God. You know, because you know, I always talk about God, and people don't believe in God. People see me and they feel. You know, I'm wretched, but John the Baptist was wretched like that, but he baptized Jesus Christ. Definitely. So he should understand that, you know, as he's come to my father and he's in my world right now, he should learn how to apologize too. It's, it's no big thing for, you know, a man of God to do. So simply put, you want Black Rasta to apologize to you? Perfect, perfect. Like he should just, not with, uh, not with anger. I'm, yes. I'm not talking or saying this in, in anger or anything or with anger or anything. I just want him to understand that. So 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 how is he going to do this? Um, oh, I, he knows Bulldog. Bulldog can bring bring him home. We we'll apologize. You okay. Know, and we'll do some. Or if you want to do it publicly too, it's up to him. You know. After we we'll bring some pito and you know. Uh, uh, all right. Yeah. All right. So um, Black Rust, he is listening. 
So, oh, is this yes. Oh, wow. So, really? Black Rasta, please contact Bulldog. I Bulldog mean, will take you home. Right <laughs> 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 you apologize. <laughs> <laughs> so, please call Bulldog. Bulldog will take you home. You understand me? Mm. So that uh, we sort this issue out amicably. Nicely. And then, you understand for the industry. Yes. No, and, the and then we we'll take it from there because he, he did, you know, said that on, on TV3 that mm. the Malam Tonga. Mm. The second release, he's going to put Shatawali on it. Mm. You understand me? Because now he's seeing that, you know, I have the favor of God on me. You know, I won't say because I'm flying high. You know, it's, yeah. a, it's a favor of God. So if he's saying that, I'm happy that he's a man of God too, you know. Yeah. So he should just, you know, try and let people know that the guy that he spoke about on radio, you know, some time ago in a harsh way, you know, he's not his friend. You know, they are all men of God. Because I'm a man of God myself. I'm a pastor and a prophet. I prophesy myself. Straight. You know? Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So we give thanks. So if if he does that, mm. the collab is going to happen. Big time. All right. So um, Black Rasta, over to you. You understand me? But or tell me also only myself because I where they were super. So um, Reggie and Bowley. Mm. They are they are campaigning for alliance for change in Ghana music business. Mm. You understand me? And mm. I think you are one person who is always, you know, shouting for that particular, mm. you know, change. Mm. I think um, you change the game by by people paying artists big money you mm. in terms of shows and all that kind of but thing. Nobody says it, so don't because the artists themselves they don't accept. Oh. It. Yeah. Oh. No, no, it, it is it is a plain truth. You understand me? No, so any artist that comes here, you know, you need to ask ah. the artist that question. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, because I don't I don't really believe because you know, still people want to behave like you know they, they they took the lead and you know I, I'm not into competition. I don't want to compete with anybody in that. You know? So when when people tell me this, I I try to correct them because people still don't want to believe. I started charging, you know. You know, big amounts of money in the industry before you know others start, started doing that. Mm -hmm. And it's, 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 it's very sad for an industry like this, though, because this is an industry where people don't even give, give kudos. You know, somebody wants to give kudos to somebody because he feels he's close to the person who has a relationship with the person. You know, I give respect to. That's why anyway, I sit. I call Yogi of his name. I call Terry Butchagas' name. His name rests in perfectly. I call him because I I feel they've done a lot for me, not with money, you know, but mm -hmm. they've really put me somewhere, but, you know, Ghana artists will never accept that, oh, do you agree that it's Shatawale who made you start charging, you know, money and getting something in your pocket, you know what I'm saying, because gone are the days, most artists were performing for free, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, and it's, 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 it's a problem, so. So, so, this particular change, mm. um, Shata, what do you think about it? Because it's, 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 it's for you know, the industry all mm. at large. Mm. You know, now, when you look into Ghana, mm. it look like, you know, artists are hustling. Mm. You understand me? Mm. You know, sometimes you'll be there and they will tell you that, oh, this man needs support. Mm. This man, that man needs support. Mm. You understand me? And all that. And that thing have to stop. So, Reggie Mboli, you know, stepping up with this particular alliance for change. You know, I was looking at it. I don't know whether they've contacted you. I don't know um, your input you know, for this, mm. I, I I just don't know what exactly is your stand. You know, before they started this, I, I had a meeting with Stoneboy, Sarkozy, I did them. You know, we wanted Samini. You know, we actually called um, Samini and um, Sarkozy when he was in America. And, and you know, I told them about what we have to do about like as artists in the industry mm -hmm. but you know reggie and Bolly has also started that in london already so uh, i took a phone and called reggie mm -hmm. you know and told him that this industry is an industry where you know if you don't fight for what you want mm -hmm. you're not going to get it i fought myself to get to where i've gotten to with my fans and my management team so when i'm talking i say things the way it has to be We've tried to solve this problem in the industry for years. We've tried to solve this problem in the industry for days. You know, artists have to come together, artists have to unite, and nothing has come out good. So I told them, if they really want to solve this thing, they should try and solve it. Because from Nanam Pidu's time, they are trying to solve it, they've not solved it. Mm -hmm. Our time, people have tried their best, they've not solved it. So they shouldn't see it like it's a play thing that you just come and be doing videos and be talking about it. It needs an action, <laughs> and I have the action plan. And if they're gonna to listen to my plan, then you know. You oh, know. so 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 it means that you 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 have already stepped in. Yes, and, of course. 
Oh, okay. Mm, yes. All right. And I've spoken to Reggie. You know, I've spoken to him. They want me to join, but yes, I'm in. I'm with them. You know, but um, what I'm saying is that I have seen this before. You know, I've seen artists coming together. No, we have to try this, and boom, nothing comes up. You know, so if they listen to my action plan, it's gonna work for them. If they don't listen, they're gonna be crying like this uh, to Nebuchadnezzar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh God! Oh God! Because oh, you know, because because that artist, you know, mm -hmm. have really shown a certain like a particular side of us that people don't really see as serious, and that is what is affecting me myself, and I don't like it. You know, that's why when I go to places. And I, I go for meetings, I sit down as Charles Niyama Mensah. I don't go and sit down as Ch Shatawale. Oh, you know, when I'm on stage or I'm, I'm in town and my fans are screaming, that's where, you know, you see Shatawale. But when I'm, I'm, I'm doing my deals, you know, I'm trying to do business with people, I don't go and sit down as Shatawale. You can't even give me fans when you see me at my site. All right, you know? so, yeah. so, so let's talk about the reggae dancehall industry. Mm. Where um, I, you started with this Dawa movement. Mm. And at the end of the day, nothing, we didn't see any change. Exactly. You understand me? Mm. So, mm. you know, as, as a man mm. who is always crying for this industry, mm. let's limit ourselves to reggae dancer. Mm. Yeah, because that is what you represent. Mm. You understand me? If you're doing Afrobeat and you know, that kind of thing, mm. you just want to eat some food, but mm. you represent reggae dancer. Mm. So, you being that reggae dancer personality, you understand mm. me? Mm. Shatter, what are you going to do in order for a reggae dance artist to start eating food? That's, a, that's also another good question. <laughs> our reggae dance artists even don't listen. You know what I mean? Only they listen. That's why I came up with that Dawa movement. <laughs> for us to make money. Dawa itself in outside is money. You know what I mean? But these are people who don't really want to understand. These are people who don't really want to, like, get the vibe, see the dream, where I want us to go. I spoke about Dawa like five, six years ago. And all those artists that never joined me, I see my glory. I'm, I'm enjoying that glory, you know. I won't say I'm enjoying money, but I'm enjoying the glory. Because this was what I told them about, that we can do this and live our lives the way we want to live it. But they never believed in me, so... You know, that's why I even left that reggae dancehall world and came into the mainstream of, you know, Ghana music and started playing certain songs because I didn't want to involve myself too much into them again because the only thing that I found out was that the ego and the fame was too much into some of them. You know, some of them feel they know too much. Some of them feel, you know, they are too good, you know, for me to talk to them. And, you know, actually, I have to, you know, take myself out. But if they had listened to me, we could have, you know, you know, put up a good plan. And today we'll all be enjoying. I, I, I shouldn't be sitting here alone. You know, I should be sitting here with like, you know, artists that I sat down with to talk to them about this thing. But it's, it's so sad. So our reggae and dance industry, uh, that one is like two percent. You know, they don't want to even listen. They, they don't want to even grow. You know, that one I can say it boldly because they know me and I know them. So, so. What I'm asking is, what are you going to do to bring them back? I, I can't do anything to bring them back unless Unyami come inside. There's nothing Unyami can do about this thing because Unyami himself knows that you have to try and help yourself so he can help you. I have tried to help myself, that's why God is helping me. But these artists don't really want to help themselves for God to help them. I get what I'm saying because I've tried. So now, if you say I should bring them back, I don't even know their mentality now. I don't know even when I say to them now and you know, maybe I'm talking to them and might think, I'm wearing diamonds, I'm wearing gold chains and shit like that. So I want to talk like a big man. But I'm still the same Shatawali. You know me from day one. I'm so humble. So so um um you, you've said time and time and again that mm. you want to go and do something for Akuma village. Mm. Up to now, we've not seen any action yet. Yeah, right. You understand time, me? Right time. You know, so um, Akuma village, you're big up every massive in Akuma village, you know. No, no. <laughs> so, so we have artists like Osajifu. Exactly. Kojo Kumbulu. Big man. Um um, I won. Big man. Um, we have Kankara. Big man. You understand me? Who again? Who again? Who again? Who again? We have Gold Teeth. Big man. We have yeah, Black Gold Prophet. Teeth. You yeah, understand yeah. me? Black Prophet. You Big know, man. you know, all these artists. Mm. You understand me? Mm. Sometimes I sit down and fold my arms and I'm like, yo, you know, um, at a point in time, this Dawatin, sometimes when I look at a picture, I'm like, mm. yo, it should have been, you know, this top artist. Mm. So, what exactly was the problem? You know, 
You see, with, with all due respect, you know, mm -hmm. like people like Asajifo, mm -hmm. you know, um, Goatit, you know, and a couple of people you mentioned. Uh, Gunman Wise. Yeah, Gunman, you see. <laughs> you know, those, people, those people are people that I will still give respect to. Yeah. But I can even say they've tried to educate the younger ones to even make money so they can be proud. Mm -hmm. You understand me? But anybody, you see, one problem we have in our industry, mm -hmm. When I talk about our industry, the reggae dance or industry, mm -hmm. is that everybody wants to speak patwa, you know. And you heard my Jimmy, my manager from Jamaica, when she called right Yeah. Now, she was speaking English, English but yeah. it sounds like patwa. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a language. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> when I do a song and I send to her, she just called me and I was like, "But all you do is you sound Jamaica." And I go like, "No, I, I, we have to learn. They yeah. are learn. I know yeah. what I'm saying. So, yeah. it, it, that patwa patwa thing has given them too much pride." Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, so most of them feel not, some of them have not even seen maybe Kotoka to even go to you know Norman Mali. <laughs> I get what I'm saying, yeah. But when you. you are talking to them, they feel they know too much. And me, I don't feel I know too much, I want to still learn. I get what I'm saying, so that's why I say with, with respect to Osage for Goatee, Gunman YZ, you know, a couple of them, Zylo, them, and things, mm -hmm. you know. Like Kojo Kumbulo, he came on radio and was telling that he's been, he taught me how to write music, he taught me. I taught Kojo Kumbulo how to write songs. I see. I was the first guy who took him to Pamblos Beat to sit left and right. He sat at the corner side, I sat at the other side, and I was like, let's write lyrics. This is how you do it, this is how you do it. But today Kojo Kumbulo feels too big, and it, feel, it, may, it hurts me, because he's one guy that I've slept with, I've been with, you know, like my brother. You know. Slept with. Yeah. 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 Like, you know, being in one room together, yeah. like, like what's it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know? But you know, when I when I listen to him come on radio, yeah. and and say certain things, I go like, oh, cool, oh, oh, oh you know, yeah, something, yeah, because me, I don't know too much, yeah, something. Mm -hmm. People knew when we started from, you know, Nima, you know, when we, we were performing in Nima, uh, to Tawala, uh, to Plaza, where and where, down so man, you know, a whole lot of places, you know, but these are people who feel they know too much. And, you know, I me, mean, I'm on a journey. You know, when I feel you want to get out from my car, you get out and I go. Or when I feel your car is not speeding too much, and, you know, I just drop off and, you know, move, you know. So, like I say, if they will really listen to what I'm saying today, mm -hmm. then nobody will take offense for what I'm... Because Man like Conqueror, I've been telling Conqueror, Conqueror, Jay Dana Wafi, what y'all say, what y'all say, Jay Dana Wafi, do something to get money and chop first. Then we can do something. You understand? Definitely. Yeah. Come on, I'm going to sit here and say, Bobby Rock, Bobby Rock, Bobby Rock. He's not, but, but, don't do that. Why are you going to do that? You understand me? All of them, somebody like I want. You understand me? Yeah. I knew I want from where I, where, me, me, because of, it was because of I want. That's what, that was when I, I saw Bulldog. I get what I'm saying. Yeah. See somebody like okay, someone like Rude Boy Stelly mm -hmm. came on radio, mm -hmm. was trying to build, you know, the artist up and sense. Yeah. But you know, the unity wasn't there. Mm -hmm. So logic gave me have to even stay back because he has because he even from Jamaica even couldn't even mold us. He he, he he couldn't like even put us together as a team and even say we can do this because this one has a different mentality, this one has a different mentality. This one, and you know, it's, it's it's so sad that you know we the reggae dance artists, you know, don't give ourselves chance to, you know, really move, you know. Even though in Jamaica, it's a culture, you know, you see like this one in the school, this one in the school, so this one doesn't feature this one, this one doesn't feature this one, but this is business, you know. If you want to make money from music, there is a way to do it. We are in Ghana. What can you do? Like, what kind of songs can you do to make people love you? And we'll still continue. That's what I'm doing. They can't tell me I'm not a reggae dance artist. So, so, what? so, uh, um, Shatter, mm. um, you are a fighter. Exactly. You understand me? You've been fighting from day one. Sure, and still, child. you are fighting. Mm. You understand me? This bread jeans mm. you started with. Mm. You understand me? Mm. And today, mm. look at where you are. Blinks all over. You understand me? And a blink, you know, diamond, my dog. And a blink, diamond. Straight, straight. Diamond, diamond and gold, you know? Diamond and gold, my dog. All right, so, you know, with, with all this diamond and gold and all that, um, Shata, I, I, I want you to do this industry a favor. You understand? The reggae dance of fraternity. You are, you are there already. I want you to pull your, your bread jeans with you. 
they should accept to make me their president. Then we'll work. Because you know? <laughs> as a president, then I can teach them what to do. Like the week Corona came and another na, 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 na lockdown everywhere. Mm. <laughs> and I'll put the lockdown on them. Straight. And I'll tell them when to come out. Straight. You know, when they understand me like that, we can live like that. Straight. But you see, even what I'm really saying now, somebody will come and battle this. Somebody will come and take my shot out. Like, yo, the money we have make my dad. You know? Yeah, you know, because they don't really see that talent eh, without mm -hmm. business is nothing. Yeah. You can have the talent, you can have the voice and everything, but if you don't think business, there is no way you can move your career the way you want to move it. Definitely. You know, so you should know the kind of song. Like him, when she sends me rhythms, I, I, I try my possible best to make the rhythms go into their market because I don't want to do things to feel like I know, but I want to do things like, or I want to listen to how their market is and play dance all songs that will enter at least. If I'm not even the biggest African artist in Jamaica. I know my songs will be floating in Jamaica. And that's how come, you know, contractor will link me for a compilation like this with all these big artists. These are dream artists. I know artists in Ghana who have these artists as their role models. Definitely. Kojo Kumbolo, he likes his role model. Definitely. Konkara, you know, he likes Kipeta. I know all of them, like, you know, them, all of them, they are there. You know, and I tell people, it's not about you traveling, you moving up and down, you trying to, you know, let the work speak for itself, you know. And so if they really want me to, you know, you know, come into the industry and help, because me, I really want to, you know, build our wealth, you know, in terms of the reggae dance or, you know, community. So if they really want to you know, let us come together and help, I, I'm, I'm ever ready, you know, I'm ever ready to, you know, help. But, you know, they should try and learn how to listen. You know, because right. yeah, a child that listens, you know, to his father really, you know, makes it in life. So I want him to really listen because it's important. All right. So um, I'm, I I want to know this. What is your relationship with Raskuku? Raskuku? Yeah. Oh, Raskuku. Pum. Raskuku. It's cool. It's, it's just that I think one time on radio, I heard him saying a couple of things about me. And, you know, I think on Plus FM where I got a little bit pissed because I didn't know the problem I had with him for him to go that far, you know. Mm -hmm. And since that, you know, I just, you know, laid back, you know, because these are people I wish we were all sitting here together today. Definitely. I get what I'm saying, but like I'm saying, they are not watching the business and it's bad. You know, if they watched the business, they would have been here with me today. You know, because, you know, in Ghana, we only have two dance artists. Me and Stoneboy, finish. Nobody should come and even say he's a dance artist. I don't know, I'll punch him. <laughs> you know what I mean? You yeah. know, because, yeah. let, me, let me say the reason why it's me and Stoneboy. Mm -hmm. Stoneboy used to come to me when I was in Blue Lagoon. Mm -hmm. I get what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. But he tried to play a card to get to a level before we could come together to this point. Mm -hmm. And I'm happy about it. Definitely. He calls me, he picks phone, he calls me, I call him, we talk. And that is the kind of relationship we need to create. Definitely. Beef, beef, yeah. Today I talk to Samini, I call him, we talk, we laugh. Sometimes he's well, yeah, boy, 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 boy. yeah, that is the relationship. But these are people who are not studying how to be a commercial artist. Somebody didn't come out with dancehall. Somebody came out with la la li, li, la lo, la lo, got his la la li, li, la lo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because yes. maybe from where he came from, he came from a place where Billy Billy Wona, who is Billy? We are still looking for Billy. <laughs> <laughs> I get what I'm saying. He yeah, learned it. Yeah. You know, to be a commercial artist, even yeah. though he still knows, you know, I have this dance off flavor in me, I want to get here, I want to get to the world. And it's good. That is how we should behave. But these are boys, conquerors. I've been talking to every conquer. Call last book on rough. Still. You know, and I want to feel that vibe. Don't let me be like I am the one pushing you to do it. They have babies. You know, they have girlfriends. I believe most of them have wives. You should know that you take decisions on your own. So why don't you take a decision to make money for yourself too? Like like that, you know? So, like I'm saying, if they will really pay attention to me, it will be, it'll be, it'll be a nice thing. This is business 101 with Shatawali mm. in the building. You mm. understand me? Mm. So, um, he said, if you guys will really listen to him, I, I, I don't know how this thing is going to happen. Simply because I know Shata is that particular man who is fighting for, for us in this particular industry mm. and you know i i just don't know but you know shut up sometimes I, I i don't know how people will get to you maybe um you know others they, know, they know where i am you know they know my people they know where to get me you know they know how to get me but like i'm saying your phone is always busy with shatter my my phone is busy but you know the, the man is up is not busy mm -hmm. even though i'm busy same you know so they know how to get me that's what i'm saying if they can come 
if one of them can call you and say, Lagas, I want to come on your program. Okay. Or two of them can call you and say, Lagas, I want to come on your program. Lagas, I think what Shata said is true. I want to join the fight. So we fight and change this thing. It would be nice. But if they come on air and they come and say, Oh, my Shata, you do say, my, my bridging way, uh, you know, I come back to Mr. Makoso. That's what I mean. Because we, we need to understand. Me, I say our industry is poor. Um, music industry itself, the whole, don't talk about reggae dance, the whole music industry is poor, you know, but people don't want to accept the fact, and I, I like it like that, that they don't want to accept it, because I have accepted that it's poor, so I want to change it and make myself rich, so I'm working hard to get money, I'm working hard to get mansions, I'm working hard to get whatever I want to get, you know, but if they would also accept that, oh, it's true, what Shetai is saying is true, we can all get there, we can get there, trust me, so, you know, it's, 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 it's those things, like recently, you know, like even, this Ghana Music Award when they banned me and stuff, mm -hmm. but episode said it was a disguise, a blessing in disguise. How can you ban your, your, your fatness? You know, and you come and say blessing in disguise. You know, when you say that, I say, episode, I have your message. SMTV. Live.